Hi, I'm Craig Grant and this is Cobweb Maths. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use the cosine rule. First of all, you need to know when you use the cosine rule and you use the cosine rule when you have a triangle that's not a right angle triangle and that you don't know a side and the opposite angle. When you know a side and the opposite angle, you use the sine rule. So, I'll set everything up and we'll get started. Okay, first one, we are finding x, that side there, alright? Uh, now, the formula we're going to use is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times cos a. Well, first of all we've got to work out what a is. Now here's angle a, opposite angle a is side a, so a is equal to x. Opposite angle b, it's 5 opposite angle C it's 6 so these are the things that we substitute into this formula here and when we do the substitution we end up with this, with this equation here x squared equals 5 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 5 times 6 times cos 60 now if you're going to work it out on your calculator what you do is you expand that out so you rewrite it like this, that's 5 times 5 plus 6 times 6 minus 2 times 5 times 6 times of 60. And then you go through and just punch it straight into your calculator. So you just go 5 then times then 5 plus 6 times 6 and so on right through. And when you're finished you press the equals and up you come with the answer which is 31. Now remember x squared is 31 which means x has to be the square root of 31. You find the square root of 31 and it's 5.57 metres to two decimal places. And we've done that question there. Now, we'll do the flip. Line it up. That'll be, should be in line. All right. And this question, we're going to find the angle. And it's the same formula, but with a different subject. So we... we so we take the formula before, we manipulate it, and we end up with cos A is equal to this thing here. On the top line, B squared plus C squared minus A squared. See the pattern there? There's an A, there's an A. See there's a B and a C, they're squared down there, and you've got 2BC there. Once again, we look at the sides. Side A is opposite, side A is opposite angle A. There's angle A, there's side A, which is 3. There's side B, sorry, there's angle B, that side B right there. And that side C there because it's opposite angle C, so C is 6. So we put these numbers into here. See? So you end up with, see? 7 goes there, 6 goes there, there's a 7 there and a 6 there, and the A goes there. So there it is all there. 7 squared plus 6 squared minus 3 squared over 2 times 7 times 6. Bottom line is 48. Top line is 49 plus 36. Take 9 from 49, you get 40, plus 36 is 76 over 84, divide it out, there's the result on the calculator, 0.9048 in a few decimal places, then you just have to find the inverse cos of that, All right, the inverse cos of the answer, and that answer is 25.21 degrees to two decimal places, and we're done. <laughs> 